Great is our God. Daily Devotional Readings for Adults Written by Fernando Zabala Being read by Deshaun Chung Day 26 He Delights in Mercy Passage of Scripture comes to us from Micah chapter 7 verse 18 Who is a God like you? pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage. He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. Is there any God like ours? asks the prophet Michael. Any God for whom forgiving isn't an obligation, a simple judicial process, or part of a routine? Micah's question is found at the end of the book that bears his name, and how important it must have been for him to answer it. On one hand, because it reminded him of the meaning of his own name, Micah means who is like God. On the other hand, because it reminded the people how ungrateful they had been in turning their backs on a compassionate God who delights in mercy. Could there be any better news for sinners than the fact that their cases will be reviewed not by a ruthless judge, but by a merciful God? This beautiful lesson is found in an old story told by HMS Richards. It's a story of a good man who, in the midst of a severe spiritual crisis, went to Pastor Alexander White for help. Do you have any words of encouragement for an old sinner? asked the man. The request surprised Pastor White because this man was very active in his church and had helped many people in need. So White approached him and putting his hand on the, on the man's shoulder, he simply said, God delights in mercy. The next day, Pastor White found a letter on his desk. It said, Dear friend, I will never doubt Christ again. The sins of my youth, oh, the sins of my youth. I was on the verge of despair, but that word from God comforted me. I will never doubt him again. If the enemy rubs my sins in my face, I will say, all oh, that is true, and they are not even half of all that I have done, but I have entrusted my life to one who delights in mercy. Praise the Lord, that's what I can also say. I am a great sinner, but I have found in Christ a great Savior. Let's begin this new day, not by remembering our sins, which are many, but the mercies of God, because we're sin abounded, grace abounded much more. We should ever bear in mind that we are all erring mortal, and that Christ exercises much pity for our weakness and loves us although we err. Taken from Testimonies from the Church, Volume 1, Chapter 71, Page 384. Heavenly Father, when I think of how much I have failed you and how much you have forgiven me, I ask, like Micah, who is a God like you? pardoning my iniquity and casting them into the depths of the sea.